Hello everyone, RogueFox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, we will be creating a Fallout-inspired 3x3 vault door. I am a huge fan of the Fallout series, and one of my favorite things is watching that vault door open up. So, I thought it would be a fun idea to try to create a vault door of my own. With that being said, let's grab our vault suits and take a look at how this vault door is going to work. So here we are outside the vault. And for those of you wondering, I am using the Fallout Texture Pack for this. So how this works, if we come up to our control panel, we press the button, our vault door opens up, the mechanical arm here brings the block back and then retracts up, and then in a very Fallout fashion, this bridge extends, but unfortunately is not a part of the build today. So here we are inside, and if you haven't been able to tell, I had a lot of fun making this build. So we come over to this control panel here, this is hooked up to the one outside by a T flip-flop. We press it, our vault door closes, our bridge retracts, and if we come over here, we can get a better look. This redstone block comes up, which then powers this piston, which then pushes the block into the center like that, completing our vault door. So let's go ahead real quickly, open it back up. You can see the blocks retracting, and then this bridge extends out, and with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into our build. Let's go ahead and take a look at the resources we'll need. And as always, if you want to pause the video right now, go ahead and do that, gather those supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. Now just a side note, where you see the slabs, I will be using glass blocks instead, only because it's easier for me to build. So with that side note, let's go ahead and take a look at the area we'll need. Open the door here, come on through. So the area we need for today's build will be a 4x7 area with 9 blocks in height. The first thing we want to do is build up our frame and then we want to lay out our sticky pistons that are going to be for the outside edges of our door. So with that being said, let's come over here, let's come one block over from our edge. I'm going to come 3 blocks up like that and then we're going to build our frame. There we go. There's our 3x3 three three frame. Now let's go ahead and set up the pistons. I want to put a temporary block down. Sticky piston here. Sticky piston. Sticky piston. So three are facing up like this. Then let's come to the top. Temporary block. We want to put three sticky pistons facing down. Like that. And finally we want to set up our two sticky pistons off to the side. So I'm going to come three temporary blocks out like this, break these two, and we're going to have our sticky piston facing in just like that. And then we do the same to the other side. Break that. There we go. And the last thing we have to do to complete this framework is get the blocks we're going to use for our door. So line them up just like this. And there we go. That is that part completed. The next thing we want to do is wire up all of these pistons here. So if we come down, we come five blocks across like this. On our edges, come one block up. Just like that. And this is where I mentioned I'd be using glass. We need to get redstone up to our side pistons. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just like that, that will allow redstone to pass through and come up to our side piston here. But for those of us using slabs, I'll go ahead and do that to the other side. So if we come over to this side, put a temporary slab there, slab right there, use these two slabs to make a block, put a top slab there, and there we go, that's all set up. Now what we want to do is grab our redstone dust and start wiring this thing up. So let's go this way first, come up, walk our redstone dust up right here to the top of this piston. Now we come across like this, walk it up this side. And then we finish with the redstone dust on top of this piston. Now obviously we still need to wire the top three. So at this point let's go ahead and start filling in our walls and our floor. Because we will be running redstone across the top of this. Fill that in like that. Fill that in. Everything is nice and flush. So from here let's go ahead and put one more block right there like that. Grab our slab or piece of glass. Put it right there. Grab our redstone walk it up across like this and then come on up across the top three like that. Now let me back up. Should look a little something like this. 
let's go ahead and test it out. So you can see we get our extension on all of our edges and then when we turn it off everything retracts. Now let's go ahead and set up our mechanical arm. But before we set up the arm we're going to set up our redstone block down below. So if we come down here to our center point put a temporary block here sticky piston facing up and then we put a redstone block on its face just like this. And while we're at it let's go ahead and fill in our floor and the rest of our wall. There we go. Now from here, we want to grab our sticky pistons once again, come to our center block, and then put two sticky pistons like that facing down. Turn around, put one more sticky piston on the back piston right there, and then finally grab our last block for our door and put it on the face right there. Now if we back out, it should look like this. Now what we want to do is wire up these top two pistons here. So let's go ahead and put two blocks right there. Get your restaurant repeaters, put one here, one here, and set them both to four ticks. Now grab a block, put one right there, and then grab your slab or your glass block, put it right there, and then get your redstone dust and put two pieces just like that. Now that is all finished, we can go ahead and fill this in so everything is nice and flush on the inside. Let's go ahead and test it out. So you can see everything works perfectly and there you have it folks that is the 3x3 volt door as I mentioned earlier I would recommend you hooking this door up to a T flip-flop that way this door can be open and closed whether you're inside or outside of your base with that being said this is the end of our tutorial and before I close out if you guys are interested in how to create this little bridge extension right here let me know down in the comments below other than that we are all out of time I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I know I really enjoyed making it. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. See you later.